Hello everyone in this video let us use the scripter now to fetch the fields on a screen. Now we have uh, this concept of screens in uh, Jira and the screen is a really important concept because uh, whenever you're working with any issue you may be creating an issue, you may be editing an issue, or maybe you're just looking at the issue. You are interacting or using a screen. Now, whenever you look at a screen, whenever you're working on a screen, you have fields on those screens. And uh, when you are trying to, let us say, do some customizations in your Jira instance, or maybe you are standardizing your configurations, then managing custom fields that appear on those screens is very important because by analyzing all these screens that you have in your Jira instance you can find out the usage of those fields maybe let us say you have a custom field which is no longer used or which is not really really used a lot and then you can also take a look at the screens and if you if you see that particular field maybe nowhere on uh, any screens you can maybe think about removing it and of course uh, we have been talking about uh, this concept of uh, or not really concept but uh, this this thing about custom fields do not really have too many custom fields in your jira instance so whenever you're dealing with a custom field you will anyways uh, reach a point where you have to also look into screens because the screen is a place where you will place those fields for the users to maybe fill or view now in this video i just want to focus on screens and uh, what we'll do we'll uh, we'll write a simple script to fetch the list of screens so right now if i go to the screen section you have different screens and uh, if you open one of the screen here let us say if you click on configure we can then see all the fields now these fields that appear on uh, on on a screen these fields uh, can be system fields these fields can be custom fields so you have uh, uh, all the fields here and within a screen you can have different tabs usually i'm sure you know about you know the default tab which is not no no not really a tab and you just have one tab but when you have maybe more than one tab so let us say if i click on this new tab there's a plus icon on top and if i if i if i enter let us say something like uh, um, what should i write maybe um, i'm i'm just thinking I'll, I'll just type in new tab because i cannot really think of a great name but let me add few fields to it maybe i'll add epic name I'll add uh, maybe epic color. I'm just adding, you know, these fields so that we can work on it and we can do something with the with the fields and maybe epic status. So we have uh, all the epic fields tab. Now this with this particular uh, screen is uh, used in the project management create issue screen and uh, let me try to create a new issue and show you how it looks like when you have new tab now what we'll do we'll uh, use a script to not only fetch the fields appear first of all we will fetch a list of all the screens and then within a screen we'll fetch the tabs and then within tabs we'll fetch all the fields now when you create a new issue let us say if you go back to the jira instance uh, jira dashboard and if you try to create a new issue i just want to show you how tab looks like in case you don't know uh, it can be useful in case you have too many custom fields too many fields and you want to organize them properly so a tab will appear something like this epic fields tab so it can be it can it can be useful if you want to have your form or your view of these fields displayed in a nice organized way um, let us talk about the script 
So I have a script here called uh, get fields on screen. Now for for digging the information from uh, screens, I will be again using a component accessor and uh, I will use something like uh, get field screen manager. So I'll uh, basically use this method and then I will use a method called uh, I'm just trying to figure out get field screens. So there is a method called get field screens and if I do something like this star dot maybe name let us run this and figure out if we are able to fetch the list of all the all the screens so if we run this hopefully it will give us the list of all the screens now i want to basically display it in the lock tab so that i can also um go further and i have a nice list displayed log dot debug and uh, i oh no maybe not like this what i will do i will iterate over the list dot each and uh, maybe i'll use something like this log dot debug it dot name and i will prefix it with uh, screen and this should be fine if I now run this and I look and, and if I now take a look at the log I have all the screens that we have in our Jira instance now we want to go further and uh, we want to go within each and every screen so what we can do here is we can also do something like uh, So I'm looking for a method called get tabs. So basically it will uh, get us the list of all the tabs within each and every screen. Now if I maybe just do the same thing, tabs plus, and if I run this, let us see, let us see what we have. So if I run this now, we have a, we have different tabs but for one of the screen we should have two tabs but it is uh, an object well we'll probably do something like maybe dot name it will uh, return a list hopefully so we can see here that uh, we have a list of tabs but for one of the screen that we modified just now we have two tabs and the second tab is called epic field fields label fields tab now i hope you're getting you know how we are trying to fetch details now what i want to do i just want to focus on first tab i can of course iterate for each and every ta tab within each and every screen but i just want to focus on uh, let us say the first tab um i will do something like uh, get tab and I, I will use zero so zero means first position and if i now iterate further within each tab i have something called as uh, let us say I'll, I'll first maybe or maybe uh for first for, for each and every tab I, I may want to use a method uh, let us use a method i think that will be good so i'll just get rid of it and uh, so I want I want to use a method called uh, get field screen layout items. I think this is the method that we need, um, and uh, this will actually return the fields that we have. So if I if I do this, and now if I iterate over this list, I'll probably declare maybe some variable w s l i just to be clear and uh, log dot debug ws li dot field id and id so i can use field id and uh, hopefully it will give us some 
interesting information about uh, what we have within a within a tab now i can run it and of course we are just focused on tab number one not really tab number two or three or and so on so zero means the first tab and now i think it looks good so for screen default screen we have uh, these fields for pm project management edit view screen uh, we have uh, field tab and we have these fields and we, we can also see that if you have a custom field it will also give you the custom field id which is i think quite good and uh, of course when you have this information you can do further things you can uh, maybe compare screens if you want at least you know you now know the information about uh, the fields within a screen now we also have uh, the concept of uh, a scheme where you will use this particular screen with with uh, with a screen scheme and screen scheme is used in issue type screen scheme will will definitely uh, go further and we'll see this uh, association of a project to a screen using uh, schemes and uh, i think this is this is still quite interesting information using uh, using your uh, list of fields within a tab you can uh, maybe analyze the list maybe from time to time maybe look for all the fields where you have no values as i mentioned before but they're also not on any screen so maybe you want to remove them or maybe you can think about uh, you know what to do with them and also you can uh, use this method to maybe go through all the screens search for maybe similar screens where you have maybe just uh, one or two fields different but rest of them are same so maybe you can consolidate them so when it comes to making sure that your jira instance is healthy you have to optimize the usage of the configurations and uh, now you know how to get this information programmatically using a script for jira so i hope you enjoyed watching uh, today's uh, video and you learned something new today thank you very much